Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? This week, I talked to NHS biology teacher Alyssa Langill about playing for the Quabbin Missile Crisis, a local roller derby team. I think a lot of people are kind of unfamiliar with how roller derbies work, so could you just kind of explain for us some of the basic rules? Uh, the way you score points is weird because there's no balls in roller derby, unlike most sports. And what happens is there's one player on each team called the jammer, and they score points by passing opponents of the opposite team. Uh, and so at the end of a one hour long game, the team with the most points wins. How did you get into roller derby? Uh, well, when I moved to the Valley uh, two years ago, I was looking for a nice way to meet people. And uh, I saw flyers for Pioneer Valley Roller Derby and I thought, that sounds like a great time and uh, signed up. So before this past week, I'd never been to a roller derby. And when I was watching it, it felt kind of like a three ring circus. There's, you know, jammers going around in circles, people being kicked out for penalties. There's just bodies everywhere. It's kind of violent. Uh, so when you started, was it kind of hard to keep track of all that was going on? It does get a little hectic. And uh, one of the big things we always work on is improving our communication so that we do know where everyone is uh, on, in terms of where they are on the track. So you are on a team called the Quabbin Missile Crisis, which I personally think is a fantastic name. There's also Western Mass Destruction. Who comes up with the team nicknames? Uh, the names were established uh, years ago. Uh, by our board. Jake and Pink Panzer, who are two of our founding members who are still there, um, were a big part in the names. And also each individual player has nicknames, correct? Right. Uh, so how did you choose your nickname? Uh, well, my name is Mighty Contrion, and <laughs> that kind of got picked because I'm a biology teacher. And my final question is, I'm kind of curious, do most of your students know that you participate in the roller derby? Uh, yes, most of them do. I do that as a like, get to know me sort of thing when we break the ice at the beginning of the year. Um, so most of my students do know. Uh, so at Pioneer Valley Roller Derby, what's great is we also have a junior skating program, uh, which is meant for uh, teens between 13 and 17. Uh, we have practices every Wednesday for that. Um, and it's a great opportunity to learn roller derby, to learn how to skate, to practice. We want everyone of any skill levels. Um, I joined it because it's like a great community. I think other, uh, I think teens would really enjoy it too. And you can find out more if you go to our web website, Pioneer Valley Roller Derby. All right, thank you so much for being on Hamped Up. Both the boys and girls lacrosse teams had big wins this past Wednesday, with the boys defeating Granby 17-1 and the girls beating rival Amherst 15-2. The girls tennis team is 2-0 and the boys tennis team is 1-0. The girls track team is 1-0 and the boys track team is 0-1. Both the baseball and softball teams will begin their seasons this afternoon as long as the fields are playable. And finally, both the boys and girls ultimate frisbee teams will begin their seasons this afternoon as well.